Wells. He is slightly younger. Pretty much everything else is even between these two in terms of both experience three, three and, and size. Action in the lightweight eight-man eliminator king in the ring. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Bombay, New Zealand. He represents Smack Jim. He is the current WMC New Zealand light welterweight professional champion. He now has 20 wins with 13 losses, with two wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Chris Butcher Boy Wells. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, hails from South Auckland. He represents ETK, Elite Thai Kickboxing. He's a WKBF lightweight champion. He now has 24 wins, 12 losses, three draws, with two big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Joey, the Filipino kid, Balon! Fighters to the center ring, it is now time for Clive Conley's instructions. Chris, Joey. All right, boys. Listen to me, if everyone commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. Okay, if you come together in the clinch, just uh, work your way out of it, okay? No grappling. Step back, have a good fight. Yeah. Yep. Chris Wells, yep. slightly yep. the taller of the two. Yep. He's coming out of the blue corner, but he has the red trunks. Joey Balon in the red corner. In the black and red trunks. Balon with the mohawk from ETK. The butcher boy, Chris Wells, the taller of the two. Ready. Ready. And get ready for anything. Both these fighters are unorthodox. Let's see if Balon sticks to Southpaw. He has. Well, so checks the first two kicks coming through. Lands the right hand, and there's that slightly weirdo knee that he throws, and a tight dump. A scything left leg. Uh, just tickled upside the cup Fight. there. It's acknowledged, and he gets on with it. Chris Wells, he's quite effective against South Pause. All right, let's go. Fight! And uh, referee Clive Cowley just doing the laundry duties. Crisp left hand catching Wells on the way in. Chewed that one up. Step outside, lead left kick. Wells, just wanting to set that up a little better. Balon landing a heavy left hand right hook. Trying to take advantage of that southpaw advantage. He throws the right hook well, Balon. The butcher boy, Chris Wells, throws some interesting shots from the outside. But he's highly unorthodox. He can come up from, with anything from an unusual situation. Teep off the back leg from Chris Wells. A step up lead front kick, delivered off a half beat, and an inside thigh kick. It's just a, a rhythm that's uh, hard to pick. Oh, spinning hook kick from Chris Wells. Took that, wasn't a lot enough mustard on it, but still landed. He's landing some clean shots with his kicks. Wells. Balon started off well, but he just can't quite find his peg right now. And we yet to see Balon change to orthodox stance, being southpaw all night. We yet to see if he does change over and have a go. I suspect he's been in Thailand, and that's how they've trained him. Counter kick low from Balon. He's straight out of the way of the high kick. Nice high kick. Lead left hand there from Balon. Good work. There's that knee that did so much damage. Chris Wells, though, coming back. All right, come out. I'm taking this out. With a double up on the kick. The clinch broken up by referee Clyde Cowley. Straight right hand low kick from Wells. I think he might have done enough to win this round. Stop, 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 stop. Come out. Balon just finding it hard to get a beat on him. Fight. Kick to the back leg from Wells. Balon trying to get those hands flowing. Oh. 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 
Monty, I think I'm going to have to go his way. He just seemed to land those uh, unorthodox offbeat kicks. <coughs> Makes it very awkward to fight an opponent when you're not too sure what they're doing. I'm not too sure whether Wells knows what he's doing on occasion. They ask me. I think that's part of a strategy. Let's go into Joey Baylon's corner. Hey, I can. And your guys are too white. It's not fucking Thailand. Get that shit out of here. Touch your cheek. Touch your cheek. Then they have punches going straight down the moon. Then I don't want that punch. It's the easy punch. Then. Okay. Okay. All the action so far. Okay. So keep your hands up. Check bully knee. Oh, yeah. Because he's, he's going for the big shot. He's going for the big shot. Make him miss, make him pray, yeah? Oh, he's right, he's right. Well, good instruction from Jason Suddy in the corner. He's calling for a tighter guard from Baylon, who is getting picked <laughs> off by the straight right down the middle. And if you go on body language there, it was the blue right, corner go. there. And Chris Wells, who looked the better of the two. Suddy looking confident. Baylon looking for the home run. Chris Wells' defence. Oh, there's a big counter right hook from Wells. Baylon has landed that big shot he was searching for right on the button. Chris Wells, he has been rocked. He's swaying like sails in the wind. Wells now needs to tighten up on his guard. Baylon now looking for that second shot. Coming on strong. Wells seems to have regained his composure. Well, an eight count and a three rounder makes a huge difference. It now means Wells needs to. Pretty much win two rounds just to get a draw. Hey, on picking himself up off the canvas. He's looking for that counter right hook once again. It's a shot that's done the damage throughout. Well, he's looking to pick on that leg. Counter left hand from Baylon. Wells missed an opportunity to counter there. Spinning back kick. Lead hit kick high. Stop! Stop! Okay, it'll be interesting if Wells continues like this. It'll be interesting to see whether the judges will actually score it a 9 8 round. Normally it's automatically a 10 8. But Wells is uh, finishing pretty strongly. Is that spinning kick again? That was a slip. There's been a few tumbles to the canvas this evening. 40 seconds to go and miss the second round. Well, he's uh, tried that spinning shot a few times. He needs to keep his guard tight, though. Is either a sign of fatigue or a slippery canvas. I think Joey Baylon is actually starting to gas. And there's a big knee to the ribs and a second knee from Wells. Only allowed the one in the clinch. Oh, spinning back fist, which almost landed. Baylon, I think, was hit by the left kick there. Well, it's an interesting round. I will go out on a limb and score that an 8-9 round to Joey Baylon still, but he lost the majority of the round. Okay, I'm not sure me. whether the judges will do the He's same. Well, a testament shot. to that man, Chris Wells, so showing him, great fitness to come back from being devastated early in the piece to finish strong in the round. And I've got to agree with you, Mike. I believe it is a 9-8 round, as you see here. Got caught with that lead. Right hand, which is the hook that he's had joy with all day. He's got no foot there underneath him at all, but he continues on. You see there on one foot, 
he's wobbly there. We spoke about his balance early on and on how good it was, but on that occasion, just missed the spinning back fist from Jai Balon. But he did finish the strong of the two, which means this next round is going to be very interesting, Mike. Well, this is the third and final. This is semi-final number two. Who will go on to face Alexei Serapisos in the final? Both of these are Auckland finals. Auckland fighters, we're guaranteed for an Auckland Wellington final. Chris Wells or Joey Baylon. Baylon, the oh, huge teeth to start off. Oh, leaping knee there from Baylon. You have seen a huge range of martial arts technique tonight. And the odd comical moment. From the butcher boy, Chris Wells. I think Balon is tired. Balon is certainly starting to fatigue. That's a beautiful tie sweep. Doesn't score. And King in the Ring rules, but. If you have to pick yourself up off the canvas, it certainly makes a difference. Chris Wells, very effective in the clinch. Well, it ain't pretty, but it sure is entertaining. There's legs, shins, knees flying everywhere. There's a little step up right hook that Balon throws. He lifts his... That one went off the shoulder blade. He lifts his lead right knee and then throws the right hook. Another team front kick high from Chris Wells. Missed with the right hook, but landed the left hand. Balon is getting sloppy now. I think Balon's fatigue starting, starting to pay effect. Nice little uppercut on the inside. Still a minute to go, and this is the third and final round. A little bit of ground and pound there from these two boys. Well, he said it's not pretty, but there's plenty of heart. There's plenty of commitment and mental toughness there, Mike. And that was a spinning back kick to the cup. Chris Wells shakes it off. Both boys just really at the point where there's only steam keeping them up. Chris Wells, though, is very well conditioned. Most of those shots are missing from Baylon. Twenty seconds to go, and this is the third final. There's a left hook. Wow, well, I'm surprised. Very close. Once again, they're off the canvas. I'm surprised that left hook, even though it was a glancing shot. Oh, right hand there, another left hook there from Chris Wells. Wells won that final round. Question remains, how did they score the second round? Was it 10-8 or was it 9-8? And will we see an extension round again? Alexei Serapisos having fought a torrid battle. No doubt, would love to see an extension. Beautiful teeth up high from Wells. And there was the leaping knee in response from Baylon. He's an explosive young man. And that counter right hand and the spinning back kick that missed from Wells ended the round, probably stole the round. Chris Wells. Both corners are prepared to go in a fourth round as we await the judges' decision. Fighters to the center ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of lightweight kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision, where we find a unanimous decision winner. Making his way to the finals here tonight, fighting out of the red corner, Joey 
the Filipino King Baylor! Well, clearly the judges scored the 10-8 round in the second round. And what was otherwise a very close Chris fight. And Monty well Beetham will talk to our winner. Well, Joe, another great win from yourself. But you're up against it in this next belt because you're all the way from Auckland against the Wellingtonian and a guy that's fighting well and has got the crowd support. How do you think you're going to go? Oh, I know Alexei quite well. He's a tough fighter. So definitely be a good show for the end. You've had a lot of joy with your lead right hand. Uh, you've had a lot of joy with the right hand, that hook. Yeah. You've got a lot of people on the, on the wobbles. Uh, we have yet to see you go to orthodox. Is that something we may see in the final? Uh, maybe. I'll see how I go and see how I feel. Well, you go back and rest up, mate. There you go. Joey Baybon, everyone. There you go. We found our finalists here for the King in the Ring 62 kg category. Well, they have a break and have a rest. Now you come back afterwards here on Sky Sport 3 and see bout number 10, a middleweight contest.